As you all know, I've already had hip replacement on my left hip and it's made a massive difference to my life, but my right hip has started to deteriorate a lot. Yes, I'm doing a bit of golf and whatnot, but even before I got back into that, it has been, let's just say, not fun. I am struggling to put my shoes on and socks on myself. I'm struggling to get changed again, so... It's definitely been not the most ideal of situations. Obviously, with getting my left hip done, I thought I was going to be really good, but that is not the case. And now I have an appointment to see in person down in Brisbane about my elbow. So if you don't know, what I have in my hips and had replacement for, I have in my elbows as well. So it's not fun to say the least. So I can't fully strain my arms. I struggle to do weighted exercises and whatnot. So it makes my job very hard as a personal trainer, but I've been able to do things and still be able to do my job effectively. But it is definitely becoming a case where it is affecting, affecting my mental health a lot. Yes, I'm grateful for all the treatment I got to get to this point um, to obviously survive. But obviously, all the side effects with my um, avascular necrosis has definitely taken a toll on me. Um, I'm also here giving you guys an update because, again, I'm told you I'm going to keep up with these quite regularly. Um, but yeah, so I've got an appointment coming up. Um, so I'll keep you guys in the loop with that. And yeah, I'm still on the wait list for my right hip. Um, yeah, it's... It's definitely in a lot of pain. Um, I try not to show it too much, but I'm always with a limp and I'm worried that's going to affect my new hip. So then it's just going to be a constant cycle. So I'm hoping that I don't have to wait too much longer for my hip replacement. Again, if you haven't already and you haven't watched my whole journey, go, I've got a whole playlist there. Go watch all of it and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.